Last week, Todd and I took a large format film camera out into the wilderness. We had one goal, take as many photos as we could with a camera we've never used. Having never shot large format before, it was just as much a lesson in exposure and composition as it was patience and being in the right place at the right time. Here's what happened. What's up everybody, Todd and I are here out in the middle of nowhere trying to take some large format photos. We've never done this before, so this could end up horribly, but right now we're setting up the shot. We're going to try to get this nice little creek running through the woods, the sun's rising. It should be a nice photo. If we can pull it off, we have no idea what we're doing. Uh, we're going to be using the intrepid 4x5 large format camera. Is it the Mark II or Mark III? It's the Mark III. It's the Mark III. Uh, we're going to be using Ektar 100 uh, for this first shot. And then we have some black and white that we're going to switch over to in a little bit, but we're going to see how this goes. This is the first time I've ever used this thing. All right. Very excited. <laughs> this is my dark cloth hoodie here. All right, my first ever frame of film in this guy. Slide her in. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so we're at F45. F45. Uh, with a how long shutter? Two second long exposure. Right, ladies and gentlemen. It is in there. It is in there. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. <laughs> Easy as that. There we go. Ooh, the, the water's a little frozen, dude. Ooh, it is. We're from Texas, so... Yeah, we're... Yeah, being in Texas, this is... Not normal for November, but the water is a little bit frozen along this creek. So right in front of us, we're going to try to get another shot where there's a little more reflection from the sun. Uh, we're going to still be using the Ektar 100, uh, but we're just going to try to get maybe a little different type of exposure. I always love when some trash that people leave behind makes your shot look nice. Nothing makes a good shot like some trash. Yeah. Todd knows all about that. <laughs> so, for this one, we're going to go F32 uh, at one fifth of a second. And here, one thing. Well, this is a rule I just made up. I'm, okay. I'm going I'm to always test fire the shutter. Just in case. Aha! There's a train in the background. I know all about trains. One thing I see all the pros do, they take this guy, shield off the lens a little bit. Hey! How about that? You ready? Ready. If 
you're new to large format and it seems a little intimidating, here are a few things you should know. All of your exposure is controlled through the lens. You set focus by moving the front standard back and forth. The front standard is this front piece right here. You can play with the focus even more if you tilt the front and the back standard back and forth. Put the film in a sheet holder and then load it on the back of the camera. Make sure the lens is closed and then remove the dark side and then the film is ready to go. Once you've got it set, take the shot. Then put the dark side back in and remove the film. We took, oh wow, I'm starting to get some sun dappling in, man. We took, uh, took two shots with this little river. Now we're gonna go try to find a new place. I think we're gonna take about, well, we're gonna try to take about 10 shots today. The sun's starting to peek through the woods right there. Getting that good, good light. All right, setup number three. We've got kind of a, a swamp setting. The sun's coming through right here. Gunshots in the distance still. Uh, the water's pretty much frozen over and is a really nice glimmer on the surface that we're gonna try to get. And so we're at F, let's see, oh no, we're at F22, 1 8th shutter. Okay, so now we just need the film. Okay, so here we want a really fast shutter speed. Right. So we can get those leaves. Right. And take it. So right after we took the shot, then the leaves just started pouring down. So now we're gonna try to take another one, but we're gonna shoot kind of right down this, this trail. And hopefully we get another onslaught of leaves. Okay, so here's something we just learned. We were like, okay, let's set up again and take another one because- of Like, there's not that many leaves left. Like, we happened upon this scene, like, probably- Yeah. When, when it, this happened. So let's hope these photos come out. Okay, so we just ran into some dude who scared us, but he ended up taking the picture with the guy in the scene, so. He came out of nowhere. He came out of nowhere. All right. Light's coming through right there, getting some nice, or I guess I might need to turn it that way. Uh, but it's a nice little like gradient in the color of the trees from where the water was before. And then the light's hitting some of the leaves on the trees, the green kind of in the middle, which is good for the color since we're still shooting with color. So we're gonna try to get this tree and then these two little side trees at the angles right there. And we're gonna try to get a long exposure, get the water smoothed out, get a nice little dreamy black and white shot. <laughs> Ooh. 
So for the for the shot setup, it's all composed. But this little guy is messing it up. He's messing the shot up. Stupid branch. So Todd's gonna do something about I'm it. Throw stuff at it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Did that actually work? Look. <laughs> now there's a log that smooshed a bridge. It kind of looks better though, right? Yeah. yeah. We're at 1 60th of a second at F57. 57. And this is black and white. Uh, Ilford HP5. Ilford HP5. ISO 400. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, all right. So this will be our last shot with the large format, uh, black and white again, and we're going to try to get down right there pretty low and shoot out into the marsh. Sixteen two fiftieth. When it was all over, we were very happy with the photos that we took, and the biggest lesson that we learned was how important composition is. Treat every shot like it's the last picture you'll ever take. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell your friends, like the video, subscribe, hit the notifications button, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.